Yo, what's up YouTube? It is July 4th weekend. Today is the day my friend is getting married and I'm officiating the wedding. I was supposed to just be a guest, but last minute they asked me to officiate. It's the first time I'm gonna be doing that. So I'm really excited. But I also wanted to show you guys you know, how I like to dress when I attend a wedding. And it's a little bit different for me this time around because I'm officiating it, I'm a part of it. But I didn't really switch up my outfit too much anyway. So this is how I would have gone if I was just a guest anyways. You can never go wrong with Gucci, so I'm going Gucci head to toe. This is my necktie. Got a brand new necktie just for the event. Traveling here, all my shit got really wrinkled. And so, uh, my sister, smart enough to bring a steamer, as you can see. Been using that to try to get all the wrinkles out, but it got really wrinkly. So, pro tip, what I did was I turned the hot water on in the bathroom, like steaming, steaming hot to like create like a sauna. And I just hung my clothes up in there, so check it out. Is it Trying to figure out how to do my hair. Usually I put in like some pomade and I slick it back. But my wife got me hooked up with a real slick middle part. Feeling this cut, it's just like combed down. I mean, there's some like kind of spray that she used, but it's not gel or hairspray or anything. It just kind of keeps it slick. Kind of Kim Kardashian. I'm ready to go. I would be lying to you guys if I told you that I wasn't nervous about this. I've never officiated a wedding before in my life. I didn't even have much time to prepare. Taehyung and Will, they called me like literally a week before the wedding and they're like, hey, could you do this? And how could I not? This moment is really special to me. The reason they asked me, they're not just friends. I've known Taehyung for 25 years and it is my dad's best friends oldest daughter so that's a really meaningful place in my heart that she asked me to do it and I want to deliver I want to make sure I make people laugh make them cry you know make it memorable so um, I am a little bit nervous here it's almost show time but at the end of the day it's not my wedding it's their wedding and I think that's why I'm more nervous. If it was my wedding, who I wouldn't even give a fuck. Because if somebody else's, I don't want to fuck this up or botch it up. I don't want them to be like, oh my God, remember that guy who never officiated a wedding, who officiated a wedding, he totally fucking blew it. Don't want that to be the outcome of it, but. Just gotta relax, keep my composure. Just know that I put a lot of heart and soul into this speech, into this script, and I'm gonna deliver. I'm gonna make it the best fucking officiating speech ever in the history of mankind of all weddings and it's gonna be incredible I hope we'll see I'm nervous. I was like, I go. Wow, you guys look great. Did you call me? I did. That was me. Oh, Stella, I like how you're dressed. Yeah! She a pop head. By your own tree, she got bread. We happy and we sing a little color, but bang, 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 like pop said, and I could get that too. Good evening, everyone. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to witness today my debut as a wedding officiant. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, my name is Edward F. Kim Esquire. The F is for phenomenal. <laughs> Welcome to my wedding. <laughs> this is the first in what I expect to be a long and illustrious career as a wedding officiant. <laughs> but in all seriousness, we're actually all gathered here today to witness the union of Will, Kim, and Seung Park. As I've known Seung for almost 25 years, we first met in a small town called Tuscaloosa, Alabama. 
<laughs> this moment is particularly meaningful for me because Taeyong is my dad's best friend's eldest daughter. And I'll never forget that moment because I had no idea my dad had any friends, <laughs> let alone a best friend. <laughs> if you knew my dad, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I actually had the pleasure of meeting Will for the first time two days ago. <laughs> for those of you who have known him longer, I'm sure that you will agree that Will is a gentleman, a sweetheart, and a proper, proper dude. <laughs> we traded stories about Sam. We got to know each other, we laughed, we enjoyed a delicious Greek dinner, and he picked up the check. <laughs> that shit was expensive. <laughs> he finally built up the nerves to propose in 2019 in Seoul, South Korea. He studied Korean dramas. <laughs> he permed his hair. <laughs> they ate at a fancy French dinner <laughs> in Korea. <laughs> and he walks him into his family's art gallery, led her down a path of roses which ended with candles shaped like a heart. And that's where he asked Seo to marry him. No one else around, just the two of them, just like Seo wanted. And to me, that was the key, just as she wanted. While I've only known William for two days, it's evident to me, it's evident to me that what Taeyeon wants is what William wants. I feel assured and comforted by this fact that William will do whatever it takes to ensure Taeyeon's happiness. Happy wife, happy life, as the saying goes. During our dinner, the topic of changing Seon's last name came up. And Seon adamantly was like, I'm not changing my last name. <laughs> and Will reached over, caressed her back, and lovingly acquiesced. It's okay, you don't have to change your last name. And Seon, without skipping a beat, darted her eyes at him and said, I don't need your permission. <laughs> In that moment, I recognize that Taeyong is still the same sassy, bossy, six-year-old girl that I had met 25 years ago. And Will fell in love with her. It was also clear to me that Taeyong had fallen in love with the man who loved her for her. We are now going to exchange vows at this moment. I, Taeyong, Take you, William, to be my wedded husband. I promise to stay by your side through good and bad times, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health. I vow to stay true to you and love you unconditionally for the rest of my days. And finally, I promise to allow you, William, to bring your PlayStation 5 to our apartment. Okay, William, I know that you've uh, prepared your own vow, so I'm going to give this to you. Clara, I can't believe it's today. Wow. When I first met you, came out to her the first date in like sweatpants, no makeup. That was so awesome, like amazing confidence. Like who does that in New York City? <laughs> Only you. <laughs> and I thought to myself like, wow, if this girl looks this great in just sweatpants, I wonder what she'll look like on a wedding day. And now Aww. I can see you look amazing. You know, uh, you criticized me for this a bit, but uh, I like to deliberate all the options, you know, I'm very careful. You even say I'm undecisive, right? But um, you even say I have FOMO. And 
<laughs> Which is to some extent correct. Like even yesterday, I was wondering why aren't my friends texting me to come out to the bar tonight? And I was like, oh right, I'm getting married tomorrow. I can't do that. <laughs> Even so, you know, even with my indecisiveness FOMO, there's one thing I knew for sure, and that was that when I first met you, I loved you, and that I would forever. Aww. Clara, I vow to love you, to cherish you, and protect you for all our days. Thank you for picking me. By the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. Woo! You may now kiss the bride. It is with my great honor and delight that I present to you Mr. Kim and Mrs. Park. Let's go! <laughs> On the top floor, so come through and we'll smoke double tree. Love will see. She comes first, then I arrive. Sunshine, this little light of mine. February 14th, Valentine. So I finished officiating the wedding. I did an amazing job, you know, actually. So here at the event, a coordinator told me he's been doing this for 20 years. That of all the speeches he's seen here in the 20 years that he's worked, he said mine was the best he ever saw. And of course, whenever I do something, I do my very best, and when I do my very best, it becomes the best. <laughs> I had a great time. Congratulations, Will. Congratulations, Clara. I hope that you guys have a beautiful marriage. I know you guys will have a beautiful marriage for eternity. If you ever need anything, you know I'm a phone call away. I got you guys. Yo, thank you for watching the vlogs. New York's not over yet. Tomorrow we're headed to Soho, so just stay tuned. The party continues. Peace. What's up? It's our last day in New York. So we're headed to Soho to get some shopping in, get some food. It's kind of our day to just like do whatever we want to do. Follow me. Right here, it's for all of the chicks right here that knew how to sing my shit right here. The lot of them sharing, you have no idea, and they all seem swelly, all seem ready. When you gonna come to my town already? Good check, no what are you wearing? This is thrifted, this is thrifted, and I stole this because fuck corporate America. So soup like wine times for the girls that be chillin' all really. Smoke a little bit, they be feeling all silly. Burger type chicks, she a duchess. Tell her bring duchess, and she the one rolling all Philly. She a LA Prince Street is not the same. You say this is your favorite pizza in the whole world? Mm, no. It's definitely my favorite pizza in the whole world. For sure. My cousin Hiwon has never had it before, even though he only lives 30 minutes away, so we're about to see his, his reaction. Wow. Go ahead, Hiwon, grab one. You got it? Yeah. Alright, go ahead. What would you rate it? One out of ten. Uh, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Fair enough. Get all that grease on me. Oh my god. I burned my face off. Amazing. Way better than the LA one. We deserve to get an Emmy, please. So let me roll up my bandy sleeves. Why she roll up those galley trees? She got all my teas. That's shitty merchandise. I gave her swelly shorts and she work them right. Head to the back, head to the clouds. Although we keep it quiet, we blown all out. Won't stop raps to make my mom proud. Please don't turn me off, tell a friend we on now. When we gone now, old school kicking in rope chains. I tell her, let me sign on this. She telling me, go daddy. The trip and was an the absolute dope. success. Got to do everything I wanted in New York. We went shopping at Dover Street Market. We ate delicious Korean barbecue at Yoon Hyundai. Very elevated Korean barbecue. 
definitely gotta check that out. Owner went to Penn State too, so extra special we are. Soho, we did a whole bunch of shopping, got to meet my family that lives in New Jersey. We just went all around Soho, had Prince Street Market, went to Pinch. Those are two spots I always go to when I go to New York. So I got to take my family with me. But of course, the most important thing was I went to go officiate my friend's wedding and that went off without a hitch. I brought the house down, people loved it. People kept coming up to me afterwards saying it was the best speech they ever heard at a wedding. It was a slam dunk success. And next week, I'm headed to Vegas, so see you guys soon. What's up?